promising hidey hole. If I had wings, I could reach it easily enough. remains before the ceremony begins. Disaster has been averted. Oh! Now I see why some call you God! You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the meat, not the company. You dwarves and your love of meat. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't the dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious meat. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, fuck off! We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Evil day has come. Perhaps he can be of use. My brother! 
a true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Mm. Now, tell me. Are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svartalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So, don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son? And strive only for your salvation? Okay. When you say it like that... I... I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. <laughs> 